This video will demonstrate the syntax for properties that was introduced with C-Sharp 3.0. It will also emphasize the importance of a core OOP principle called encapsulation. So if a class has a property and it only needs to store a value, but it doesn't need to perform any specific internal actions on that value, a very simple syntax has been introduced with C-Sharp 3.0. You merely create the property, you create empty get set methods with a semicolon, nothing else is necessary. And you'll see here how easy it is to access that. Uh, you probably created member variables in the past, but you don't need to do that anymore. The uh, compiler will take care of that. Now, a lot of people have seen this syntax and they've asked the question if I'm only accessing a string and I'm only reading and writing and I don't need to perform any other operations then why should I use a property so let's talk about that that's called encapsulation you could simply declare a public string not make it a property as you'll see foobar and foobu would be accessed and modified in the same way. They would behave the same way in this class foo. But this violates encapsulation. It allows access to the internal data of the class. And that means the class has no control over how boo is used. And any external class can access boo and change its value to whatever. When you use properties, you have encapsulation. And you can protect the data. And also, when you subclass it, you can add additional implementation logic. You can't, you can't do that with boo. So don't violate encapsulation. Please remember to subscribe.